Okay, some other things that are important. When I was gone, the garden update came out and they added they added new things to the shop for bits. Garden farming fortune upgrades. I've been doing these over the course of my break since it came out and I still got a ways to go. As far as I know, it goes to 10, but you know, we're, we're at seven. We're working on seven for the next 16 days. It's gonna be a little bit. I noticed the amount of people using code 30 virus went like crazy when that came out because I can only imagine getting the 10 levels of farming fortune and skipping all of that time with gems. I've been having a good time. Uh, thank you for everyone using code 30 virus. Genuinely, it is awesome. And if you're gonna buy bits to skip the time on upgrades or get cookies, which by the way, I've been freaking inflating in price. Five and a half million. There's never been a better return on your investment if you were to, you know, do that. So code 30 virus, if you wanna help, me out. I've been playing the enchantment mini games and leveling pets that way. Not as good as commissions, but it's something. I have a lot of books to show you, including, I think we dropped this one on stream. That's a luck seven you're seeing right there. Growth six, including four. Prosecute six, Piscari six, Prot six times three, four, five. <laughs> luck six, looting four. Scavenger fours, growth six, giant killer six, power six, snipe four. That's 200 mil. <laughs> RNG carried. I'm saving that one for term. That's a lot of sludge juice I got by accident while powder grinding. Oh, this is accidental like drops that I just kind of got by accident. You could probably, I mean, chat, let's see how, how experienced this chat is at Hypixel Skyblock. Take a guess what I was doing to accidentally acquire so much egg. So I was powder grinding in order to, I don't, this was part of the jump scare, but I didn't hover over it. I was trying to get 99 yellow goblin egg. Sunny side omelet. Anyways, I am now skyblock level 225. And as I predicted, the amount of XP that you get from various things went up during the break. So my skyblock level went up because of things I had previously done, but in some ways it didn't. I've already done 100 nucleus runs and I don't get credit for it. Thank you, Hypixel. But my ranking has also dropped. I am now global ranking 628 when I was in the top 500. We'll catch up fast though. I didn't want to progress too much in skyblock XP off camera because I don't want to waste that juicy content. What else did I do? Oh, that was another jump scare. You didn't see anything. Anyways, look at that mage reputation. Again, you might notice I have 240,000 bits. We have 5,000 bits available in the booster cookie menu. Now I had a plan when I started this, um, when I started this thing, I wanted to spend a lot of money on booster cookies because there's a lot of things that you need to buy with booster cookies to be quote maxed. So we are going to go into the calculator app. I got pretty much all of these booster cookies at five mil exactly. So we're going to make the math simple and it is going to be 200 and let's do 245,000 bits divided by the number of bits I get per cookie. 25 booster cookies, it looks like, times 5 million, 125 mil I've spent on cookies. In other words, I spent 125 million on booster cookies while I was away. Now we're gonna need some of these coins that I jump scared chat with at the start of stream. I think I might be able to sell half the gems today. Okay, that's some money right there. 197 mil, that should do it. I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna get another 25 booster cookies. So. <laughs> That is 25 booster cookies right there. <laughs> that hurts the bank a lot. 
psychopath. Absolutely, bro. I think I overestimated or I underestimated or something. I got the math wrong. The available bits it's saying is way more than I calculated. That is some juicy progress right there. Now with that, we have 250,000 bits available on top of what we have already. It's a bug. Now let's see how much cookie buff we have. 151 days. That's almost half a year. <laughs> I think the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna upgrade all of the lava buckets in the minions to magma buckets. We are going to need a bunch of heat cores. Can I buy multiple? No, I can buy one. <laughs> so I need 30 of these. There we go. That is 27 heat cores. That is 30 heat cores. Another part of the jump scare. I already have the blocks of coal at the ready. And I have the iron as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God. Okay. Now we have all the lava buckets. So let's craft ourselves some magma buckets. This is going to be nice. I love this, dude. <laughs> I've been grinding off camera for so long and being able to finally redeem all the progress that I've made is super satisfying. Emerald Minion's been going for this entire time with the Soul Flow engine, so I'm sure we have like a ridiculous amount of that. Ice Minion's been going this whole time, producing almost nothing. Same goes for Iron, very disappointing. <laughs> oh, so I swapped out one of the Minions in here. I believe it. this used to be... I don't remember cow? No. I don't remember what it was, but now it's chicken. My minion limit is 29, and I was prepping for the 30th minion slot. So that's just there. That that makes sense. I want to get something that I've been waiting for for, again, three months. We are going to go here. Abifo Contact Trio. As you can see, we've maxed out the contact slots. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another one of these. Auto pet roll two pack. I already have two auto pet rolls, but now I have four. So that's gonna make things nice. If I want to, for example, have a fishing rod, on cast rod swap from whatever I'm using to scathe and then immediately swap to armadillo. At the same time as having another auto pet roll, for when Slayer boss spawns, equip, uh, and then when it's killed, spawn, enderman, whatever. So that's cool. Uh, I did this. That's why the monkey pet's such a high level. You know, just a casual, like, what, five inventories full of enchanted oak? That, my friends, is enough oak wood to get 30 of the largest minion storages that is why i did that also when are you gonna swap to barb faction so about that that is part of the plan i might as well point it out now actually that might be another title in itself so i'm, I'm gonna hold off on it but yeah the plan is basically to get like twenty seven thousand rep i think that's the minimum uh in order to be able to swap between factions constantly without you know having to do it all over again so that's the plan we're not swapping factions until i have the option to continuously switch back and forth without having to grind faction rep anymore that is a thing for those that didn't know that i did craft two greater backpacks off camera i'm sure you guys noticed that jumbo backpack upgrade don't you need like two of these per backpack i don't remember I know I at least need two rows of them. I don't remember anything further than that. The amount of dopamine running through my brain in this very moment. This is why people play Skyblock is for this, this single moment. Once you finish the grind, you get to get the thing, except I've kind of just saved literally three months worth all at once. <laughs> We're gonna, Okay, this jump scare is just out in the open. I already showed it to stream before, but if you didn't see it until just now, ah, uh, but yes, that is a thing that is there. Let's ignore that for the time being. And then let's put half of these away so it's easier. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I don't have enough regular leather. 
oh, that's embarrassing. We're not going to be able to do the thing I wanted to do because we have only enchanted leather. This is such a first world problem. I don't have enough unenchanted leather to actually craft all the backpacks. <laughs> that is that is a very stupid problem to have. Let's try this again. There we go. So I guess the rest of these we're going to have to put away for now because I can't even do anything with them. Stupid virus. I'd want to at least get enough leather to get this out of my inventory. Boom. Six jumbo backpacks. And this one has stuff in it. And I think that's where we have to stop for now because we are out of leather we're gonna keep going it's gonna go from green to blue whatever and we're gonna have one repeat i think Fifty thousand bits remaining what do i spend it on we're gonna get pocket sack in a sacks <laughs> so let's do that shall we so now that i have the large nether sack i'm going to immediately upgrade its capacity and never again will I have to deal with mycelium filling in my inventory. I think it's safe to say almost every large storage should have a pocket sack in a sack if I'm going to be maxed out. There we go. Since garden update did just drop, I don't have one on the mining? I have it on the regular mining, but not the enchanted mining. Am I high? Now that I think about it, I might not be high. <laughs> no, <laughs> now that I think about it, filling the regular or tripling the capacity of the regular one will make my life easier because that's less, for example, if I'm killing a bunch of mobs and then it fills with bones and I have to enchant it, which is annoying. So it's not completely stupid to use pocket sack in a sack on the regular sized ones, the non-enchanted. Definitely should do gemstone. I should be careful. We only have like two of these left. And then that. And there you go. We're officially out of bits. I'm putting one on the gemstone sack for sure. Nice. Eventually we're gonna just do it for all of them, but all right. Can you do it with rune sack? That would actually be kind of nice. You can. Oh, that actually is really nice and you're about to see why. All right, I have a chest dedicated to just runes that I could not store. And they are all going away. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. Boom. <laughs> so much garbage that is no longer my problem. Okay, so we're gonna have to take these out. You can't even shift click. Bruh, no. I think I just lost that rune. I just lost a blood three rune. GG. We need more leather for these backpacks, man. By the end of stream, we'll have a few more. All right. Now, I think we did it. I think we spent all of the bits. Well, not all of them, but just to showcase what we're gonna do with the rest of the bits. So we spent half of them. The other half, we're just gonna slowly get over the course of the next Saturday month. I'm gonna be spending them to finish the jumbo backpacks. I already did that actually. And we already did the magma buckets. We are gonna upgrade the plasma buckets. We're going to get 30 XXL minion storages, and then I'm going to get a pocket sack in a sack for the rest of the sacks. That's a sentence, right? <laughs> that is a sentence. We are going to make all of these triple capacity, and then we should run out of things to spend bits on other than kismets. There you go. That's the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. Also, that's a second video for today's stream, I believe. I think we're good. Well, there you go. Um, it might be a good idea to also get a few Abbey phone upgrades. I don't know if I can do that this stream. I'm pretty sure I can. So we're just going to, we're just going to not. <laughs> You're missing so many Abbey phone contacts. Walter, George, Rollum. Well, I intentionally don't have Rollum and Aranya. I, I don't know how to say that name because it's just annoying. <laughs> Getting called up by NPCs every 30 minutes is just not the play. If you played Forge, you could disable those calls. That actually gives me something to talk about. Badline Client has been getting some crazy updates over the break. So, some backstory. As I'm sure you guys know, I've been talking to HS Fearless a lot. Uh, more so before the break than after the break. We still talked a few times during the break, but one of his viewers and a legendary coder is named Soupy. 
And Soupy has a very good reputation in the Skyblock community as being a coding wizard, making a bunch of Skyblock mods. Now, I facilitated a connection between BLC and Soupy. I hooked them up. So I, I gave him Doors' contact info, and then eventually got him talking to the higher-ups, and now Soupy is coding for Bad Lion. And I saw an announcement on his Discord saying that all of the features from Soupy are getting added to Skyblock. So that brings up an interesting question. There, that feature is not in the thing yet. There is no Abiphone uh, disabling feature. I can request that with Doors if he's still watching. And then Soupy will probably make it within three minutes because he's actually ridiculous. But I want to show you some other things that um, BLC got because of this crazy connection. I'm super happy for him. Safe to say within the next few months, BLC will become the de facto skyblock thing because the advantage Forge has is just the variety of features and mods, but like Soupy's literally working on that. And then it will have the added security of knowing that you're not going to get ratted because there's some weird version of a popular mod that someone had injected code into that steals your data. Be safe if you're... I, I'm not going to tell you Forge is awful. It's fine as long as you're safe about it and you have to be secure and it takes a while. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying the, the lazy man's way, BLC. But anyway, that is not... That is not why I am here. Let me get a... So if I were to, for example, go like from thing to thing here. Ima <coughs> imagine this is a Ruby route. Now there's a bunch of waypoints to the gems that you haven't mined yet. And there's a timer showing when it's going to come back. So there you go. That is topic number two of the stream. We got two or three videos so far this stream. I am excited.